Hello everyone and welcome to a let's play of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. It's about freaking time that we started this game. It's been a long time coming. So, right off the bat, there are a couple things that are an issue with this game, but... Literally, that's all the options we have. Oh dear. Um, I do want to say before we get into it that I've played the first level of the game, but that's as far as I've gotten just to try it out and make sure that everything runs, which it does. So without further ado, let's get into the game that I read the book on about three months ago. So like the third game, um... We have a character select, and we have a party of three, Harry Potter, Hermione Granger, and Ron Weasley, who looks high as all get out. Um, one of the really cool things about this game is that it apparently features co-op on the same screen. So if I had a friend with a controller, or two friends with controllers, we could all be playing this game together. Unfortunately, I don't have that, so it's just going to be me controlling the entire party. Oh well. Considering that this game is about Harry Potter, I'm going to be picking him. The villagers of Little Hangleton still called it the Riddle House. Half a century ago, a servant had found all three riddles dead. Perhaps, if we were to do it, without the boy, my lord? No. Harry Potter is as good as mine. It is decided. Harry Potter and his friends Ron Weasley and Hermione Granger traveled by portkey to the Quidditch World Cup Final, where they saw Ireland defeat Bulgaria. Later that night, a gang of Death Eaters, followers of Lord Voldemort, rampaged across the campsite. Arthur Weasley sent Harry, Ron and Hermione back to the portkey. I don't think I've ever actually... Oh jeez, hi. Well that's off with an explosive start, isn't it? Come on! Okay, so for whatever reason, I can't actually control where I'm looking. So I have to use the arrow keys and hope to god that the controls actually help me to. Oop. What are those things? I have no idea. Oh, geez, hello. Vincarium Leviosa! There's more of those. Ow, hey. They're called stud bogs, frog. Yes! I can't remember quite how the controls work, unfortunately. But the party AI is much better in this game than it was in the third one. Much, much better. I have to commend it on that. And visually, it's actually more interesting than the than the third game was as well. They've made a huge step up with the models and everything like that. Um, there's a lot I'm trying to figure out right now. And I'm not sure where the buttons are, but oh well. Let's get onto this explosive area. Oh, hello. Oh, wrong spell. Beans. No shit, Dad. Ron. We all need to cast Wingardium Leviosa on that rock. Oh. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Okay, so this is another Move mechanic. The out of the way. Of the fourth game. Is a combined cast. It works very much like how it did in the third game, where you just hold the spell down for a while until everybody else casts on it. Ah! 
Oh, Ron, what happened? What are... what are these? They're health pots of some kind. Kill him, guys! Over there! Beans! Really like these beans! I noticed. <laughs> no, nope, stop! Ow! Oh, yes! What the heck? Just yelling out spells without any context whatsoever. Oh boy! Go! That works. Yeah, so for the first time in a while. There's nothing like beans. All players press button together for Magicka's Extremos mode. What the hell is that? Okay. <laughs> what even? So yeah, um, one of the many complaints about this game right off the bat, this game runs only an 800 by 600 Get or 640, port, oh shut it, 640 by 480, which is a bit you of an issue. The rock by yourselves. I get that. Which we are more than capable of doing Leviosa. since we are fourth years at this point, or will be. Just ah! swoosh our money. <laughs> The port key, go! That was sort of intentional, but around. not really. Oh, there you are. Hey, chocolate frog. Can I? No, I can't win Guardian Levios the frog. Now, I don't know of any keys to change between the characters, unfortunately, which I'd love to do. What? You guys want to help out with this? Okay, I guess not. Whatever. Who the heck? Oh, Death Eaters apparently. That's what we're doing. Again? Come on, you two! It's the ministry! I need to get these controls figured out. It's been a while since I played this first level, so it's really screwing with me. Ron, what are you doing? That's like the worst place to be. They're all over the place. Eh. Get ready to jinx them. Ow. We'll just run around spamming our ow. Whatever the spell is, I guess it's Arcidius. Oh, that was a clever run. Well, let's keep going now that they're no longer taking chunks out of us. Hello. Um, duh. That's what they've been doing this whole time. Our main characters are still not the most intelligent of individuals. And apparently have the attention span of less than a goldfish. Alright, so let's avoid crushing everybody. Stick that like. <laughs> Alright, never mind, that didn't work. <laughs> Alright, come on, you two. The bridge. How absurd have you, Ronald? My thoughts exactly of everybody this entire game so far. Oh boy. 
Oh, come on, that was hardly moving. Whatever. Hello, dead face. How's it going? How are we going to get past that death eater? Easy. We can't cast at him. Stay low. You want to help out, Ron? Thank you. There we go. <laughs> well, goodbye, I guess. Ooh. What is that? It's the Dark Mark, Harry! It's his mark! Voldemort, get to the port key! Well, that was abrupt. Okay, I have no idea about that. Hogwarts. Hogwarts will this year play host to the Tri Wizard Tournament. Please join me in welcoming our guests, Obertong Academy of Magic, proud sons of Durmstrang. May I introduce Professor Moody? New defense against the dark arts, teacher. Well, that was abrupt. That was... Wow, okay. Um, not super fun of that. Okay, so each of our characters, I guess, collects their own cards or something like that? Hmm. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on with the cards yet. That's really weird. So this game obviously got a complete overhaul. Um, I can't use the mouse. And there is no way to change the controls that I'm using. The 5th and 6th games I hear are much better, but I have to get through this one before I go to those because I am just like that. Man, that was a really abrupt change of pace. Oh boy. If the entire rest of the game is going to be like this, that's going to be uh, kind of chaotic to follow along with the story. I have to say, though, right off the bat, this game seems to be following the story a little bit better than the third one did. So far. But most of it has been through cutscenes. Which, I guess, is still something. Let's go into Defense Against the Dark Arts. And going to be playing Harry again. Oh, whoa, what? Oh! Okay. Alright then. I did not know that was a thing. and Hermione met Mad-Eye Moody for an extra defense against the dark arts lesson. Wondering why I brought you here, are you? This is where you learn how to defend yourselves. Get to it! And remember, constant vigilance. How are we going to get over there? Right, now you need to jinx it. What? 
how do we go from getting introduced about the competition that didn't even really talk about it to having an extra lesson with Mad Eye Moody? Go over here. Those blue beams will help you cast more powerful spells. Wait, what? Really? Now go through that door to the next room. What? We haven't got all day. Okay, Moody, you don't need to be a dick about it. Very good, Jagger. Come on, cast your jinxes in quick succession. What's it look like I'm doing? With you. You need to cast a charm. Good aim! Excellent! Oh, hello. That's it. Look out! Oh, hello. Goodbye. Collect as many red beans as you can. You're going to need all the strength you can get. So the beans have different properties now. That is the wrong button. All day. Have you been no. That was great. Hey, well done. Step through to the next room. Try summoning it with the Axio charm. Not bad. Remember, you can summon rewards that are out of reach by casting Axio. Nothing like wizard sweets to boost energy. The Aqua Rapto Spellbook! Wicked! What is this? Only one champion can win the Tri Wizard Tournament. Oh, okay, here we go. Here's that champion must survive three very dangerous tasks. Your three champions are Victor Crump, Fleur Delacour, and Master Cedric Diggory. There is so much of the story they're leaving out. Wow. I mean... Uh, it's good that they're explaining the important bits, but there's so much in there. They never said that Harry Potter is not allowed in the tournament. Which is like a huge theme in the book. Uh... The funny thing is, when I was originally playing the first level, I was actually having fun. At least the first couple times around. I don't know, man. I think this game is as bad as a lot of people were saying. <laughs> this is really bad. So it said I had a card unlocked. But... I'm not seeing...
anything about that. Do I, like... Because the set's locked. I don't, I don't know how to unlock cards. I guess I have to purchase them or something? When I'm in the equipping menu? Let's see if we can find that out. By selecting collector's cards. Okay, so how do I buy cards? It'd be helpful if I knew all the controls, but again, it doesn't even tell me what the key bindings are, so I can't even look at that. Ugh. This game, not well designed. Anything here do anything? Anything at all? Nope. Alright. I accidentally hit my recording button. Oh well. <sighs> this is... Mm. These... Mm. I am... Very not happy. I guess that's not bad. Oh, God. This is debilitating to look at all this crap. What? <laughs> Why are these so much more expensive for Hermione than they are for... Uh... <sighs> so what is this info stuff? Okay, so those are shields. Okay, and these are the number of spells you've cast, I guess, and all the incidences where you do spells like this. Dark detectors, mushrooms, taps, shovels, and gargoyles. What? Okay, well, we got through Moody's challenges. Um, one more Triwizard Shield to unlock next location. Uh huh. Oh my gosh. Okay, so initial thoughts on this game so far. I don't know if I want to continue playing it, because I'm having flashbacks to Prisoner of Azkaban, where the story was not hardly explained, aside from quote-unquote key pieces, without any important supporting detail. The controls aren't really any better than in the third game. They're different, but they're not any better. And the reason I say that is because I don't have this whole bouncing auto center thing while I'm walking, but I can't change the direction that the camera is facing. Which means I can't see half the things that are going on screen. And considering that this game seems to be more of a combat casty kind of thing, that's really a problem. <laughs> And maybe that would change if I had more players, if I had more people playing with me, but I don't have that. So, I don't know. Um, 
yeah, I, I think this game is as bad as a lot of people were saying. <laughs> it, it does have some charm to it, though. The, the visuals have taken on a life of their own compared to the first three games. It's not going for that charming, vibrant kind of look anymore. It's going for more the moody kind of mysterious thing. Which I think is fitting, considering the turns that um, the fourth game, the fourth book makes. I just wish it was based on the books rather than the movies, and just get the visuals from the movies. And the books are where they get the story from, because the movies. I, I didn't. I only watched the first and second movie, and I didn't like them very much. From what I remember, it's been quite a while. But maybe it's because I read the books first before I watched them. I don't know. But anyway, that's all for this part. Um, I'm going to see how much further I can get into the game in the next video. And we'll see what happens from there. But it is what it is. Considering that the 5th and 6th games sound really good compared to this one and the 3rd one. Fingers crossed that I don't get burned down on this. Because I know that's what happened with the third game and why I didn't play this one for a long time. Um, especially after I heard that it really wasn't that good. And I can see why a lot of people thought that. And we're only, what, three levels into the game? So, yeah. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless. Um, my commentary was not stellar for this. Since it's just I'm just sitting here going, what the hell is going on? Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it regardless whether my commentary was terrible or whatever, but yeah, I'll see you in the next video, and until then, take care, have a great day, bye for now.